Okay, um, hello, my name is Patrick Forrestal and I'm a researcher based at Johnstown Castle. And today we're talking about maximizing the efficiency of slurry use on your farm. So an important point is where you put the slurry. So having a soil test, lads, that's a key aspect of knowing where the low P and K areas of the farm are. And this is where you want to bring the slurry back to. Slurry, it's mainly made from silage, so it makes sense to bring it back to the high area of requirement, which is typically the silage ground. In terms of when to apply it to hang on to the nitrogen, the best option is to apply during conditions that are cool and cloudy and during the spring when you really have that burst of growth going on and the crop taking it up. We have a number of method options available including trailing shoes and dribble bars and these have been seen to reduce the amount of nitrogen loss to the atmosphere and retain nitrogen to grow grass. Now look at lads, in terms of slurry nutrient content the dry matter makes a big difference. So here we have a very concentrated slurry and a more dilute slurry. And this has a big impact on our ability to actually provide the nutrients for a silage crop, for example. So you can see here in this lower example that a quite a thick slurry can apply all of the P and K that is needed by the crop and just top up with nitrogen. But if you actually thought you had this thick slurry and you actually had the, the more dilute slurry, you'd be short on P and K and you'd leave the crop short and not get the most out of it. So look, just one take home message is to, to understand what nutrients we have in the slurry is important to actually get the most out of it as well.